Speaking of tools, have you guys used uh, Nuclei? I have not. So it's a... <clears throat> it's hard to describe. So it says in this article, it's a tool for scanning websites for vulnerabilities. Yes, it's that, but it's like an entire framework with all kinds of templates to do all kinds of different types of testing against all types of different targets. Short, we have a single code repository uh, of custom UKA templates that we build. And once a developer fixes or an operation person fixes a vulnerability, uh, the regression tests uh, are keep running once a day. And when we identify a regression, we open the Jira ticket once again for the team to fix it. Like their their product are these tools that hackers use with the with the goal that companies are also using them to protect themselves. So like I think Project Discovery is a is a really cool company. They've got a number of tools that hackers use for like recon to find vulnerable subdomains to look for to do asset discovery um, to find where an attacker might find a, an entryway. And yeah, they're, they sell to to companies who are looking to use those same tools internally to be able to beat the attackers to the punch. So you'll find inside the Nuclei templates folder, there's a whole bunch of templates that fit into different categories. So this one, for example, there's a DNS one there, there's file-based ones, there's HTTP-based ones, network-based ones, and so forth. And you can go into those directories. For example, the DNS stuff, you can see here, there's um, checks on whether Azure can be taken over. Okay, so these are open source on GitHub, right? Like, mm -hmm. shouldn't someone be trying to take them down? Like, this this seems kind of crazy to just like leave these tools hanging out there that anybody can use. So I think that at the the trend that we are moving towards in this like decade in, in security is the realizing that they're gonna bad hackers are gonna have these these tools anyways. They're gonna be writing them, and the more people that have access to them are um, the better because companies are going to be able to employ security engineers or, or external bug bounty hunters to be able to use them to find the vulnerabilities before the bad actors do. You can actually make your own templates. So if you know a specific way to test for a particular vulnerability, you can just write your own tests in Nuclei. In the world of offensive security, one of the best tools that has been made in the last 10 years is this tool called Nuclei. Um, probably right behind Nmap, I would say, that. Um, that this tool sits. What it is, it's an open source vulnerability scanning uh, framework. So building checks for this open source vulnerability scanner is, uh, it's godsend, honestly. What can be learned from past? What are the mm. templates that can be created? We're actually working with a lot of vendors like Nuclei, where we are template templatizing some of these bugs and the vulnerabilities to say, hey, this is out there. So while we aren't creating our own rat models, we are actually working with vendors and a vendor that comes to my mind is Nuclei.